Hey, what's up everyone? How you're doing today? Welcome to episode 6 of our Adeptus Mechanica series with the Heretic DLC. Last episode was pretty cool. We got ourselves an additional tech priest. So, if we go on to our cohort here, we've got Leonardus. So, with the Blackstone we've got, 434, we can get a couple of upgrades for him. So, what should we go for? This is always a good one to get on all the guys, the CP reducer. And then let's get ourselves a bit of armor. In fact, let's get another upgrade first. Now, nah, let's get the armor. We might not be able to afford another one. 4 HP 1 physical, 2 HP 2 movement, energy. Right, we're going to do this one. Get all the HPs. Give him his chest piece. Now oh, we've got left 179. Yes, we can only do one more upgrade. Okay, so what we got? Reveal enemy stats when in melee range. So that's to the to the troops. This is a bonus for not the tech priests. We don't really need that yet until we're using a few more troops. That's pretty handy. I think we've already got one with the cleanse. Yeah, let's get the, the extra bit of range. Cool, so we can also give him a couple of weapons and bits and bobs now. We've got a different axe here. So what's that? 3 to 5, 2 to 4. Ah, oh, but that's a free one, so that doesn't need a cog point to use it. Which could be handy. But I think we'll just go with the normal one for now. What we got left? We've got one more free slot. So we'll get... This is Croatia, yeah, Croatia Claw. Get a bit of healing on the go. So he's got all the way up to rank four. Four, five, six. Yeah, so guys aren't too bad there. Um, oh, I think we got another troop unit as well, didn't we? Yeah, I think we got the um, Vanguard there. Star Vanguard. That's pretty cool. Right, so we've got access to all the missions now. These are all different tombs and different people representing them. So let's see what we got. Oh yeah, I think we had this one yesterday, didn't we? The normal one. Phosphor Serpenta. Noise Reductor. Another normal one. Volkite Blaster. A refractive Field Generator. That, this can be a really good one to get. We might have to do this one. Good couple of extra, extra doodads there. Oh, this is pretty cool, right? Cognition Gauge Increase. An Arranger. Easy. Normal. Get the Cognis Flamer. That's hard, and it probably will be hard because that's going to be one of the first like boss fights. Lord Astrom Astronomer, Necropsis. And this guy here, this is a, a new chap for the Heretic DLC. All these ones are against um, Heretic Tech Priests and Servitors rather than uh, Necrons. Uh, now it says easy, but I'm pretty sure I remember when I did the last playthrough, the first couple of missions here, really, really hard. So I think I might wait a couple of turn, a couple of rounds before we go attack that one. So I think it's going to be a toss up between getting our cog gauge increased and getting the extra gun and refractor fields. So what's that? 99 blackstone, 92. I think I'm going to go this one. Get this cog gauge increase. I think that's going to be really beneficial. I think we're on five at the moment, so we could go up to six. So, we've only got three slots. Only 31 blackstones, so we can't get many units in anyway. So let's take the Vanguard this time. He's got a bit of range on him. So, I, I know I remember, I think we've got some more canticles as well. So let's quick, this is restore 5 HP on the active unit. Let's see if we got a better one. There we go, 10 HP on the active unit. Now, I don't want to be doubling up on these physical attacks, I don't think. Let's see what we got. You know what, I think I'm going to stay on that. 
think that's going to be the most handy one for us at the moment. A little bit of extra damage. Okay, yeah, I think we're good to go. Let's do it. Let's see what these guys have got to say. Move with speed and a hell of a lot of firepower. Yep, that we can do. No worries. So we're trying to find and save the Oculus Topographus. So, let's see. Still only on the one diamond. Yep, still only on the one. One, two, three, four. I think that's clearly going to be our quickest route. One. Oh no. One. Two, three, four. Yep. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do the double glyph route. Try and get some more blackstone for handy upgrades. Oh, HP that we don't need. We do need the HP now. So, oh. Makes no difference but where we go here, it's both the same same outcome. Found a beacon. For sake for the mission, do not search for more beacons. The data they might contain is not worth holding up the mission. The beacon trap. The Necrons might be interested in the beacon too. Booby trap it punish the Necrons for their inquisitiveness. Forage beacon data. Search for more beacons to recover them. The data within them might be valuable. Hmm. I don't want to forsake. Don't like that idea. Like the idea of booby trapping. Always like a good booby trap. Good old Goonies reference. Um, forage for beacon data. That could be handy as well, though, but it could be time consuming. Let's booby trap. The cohort places a bundle of grenades behind the beacon, primed to detonate when the data port is interfered with. However, a person Skitari patrol later reports the beacon gone and the trap dismantled. Cunning Necrons having disabled the trap and taken the beacon and its data. Yeah, opportunity lost there. Ah, well. Is how glorious the Xenos very their weapons. These tech priest guys are really excited at all the, um, the different tech that these Necrons are showing us. So we've got a scan or destroy this time. No, let's go our way around. Right, so we've got to get all the way up here. Oh, look, we've got a cheeky little route here, though. We've got no CP, so we can't bring in any troop units. I think I'm going to budge them all up on this moving platform. Dodge these guys a little bit. Get straight up near the um near the terminal we need to scan. 
So all these guys are going to start pushing towards us. We're going to move away from them. Cool, I went through. Parker. Okay, he can't move very far, can he? in range, no. Let's get the CP. And about D. Ah, oh, he is within shooting range. Let's get a quick little quick little shot off at him. Alright, he's oh alright, small CP. Now he's fine. Oh, he's got some movement on him. Um, let's just let's get a shot on him before he moves. I think if we're moving there, he's not going to be in line of sight. He's got the acid on him, and he can actually heal himself. Brilliant. Well, not heal, but he's um, cleansed of the acid effect. Um, he's our service god. Get us last CP, and we're happy days there. I think. Not going to bother healing him up just yet. Can I wait one more, one more turn till we really need it? Yeah, let's get one in. Oh, he costs two though. I've yeah, the CP cognition points have come back over here at this thing. So yeah, let's do it. This Vanguard can quite handy. He can he can shoot. He's going to help knob all these guys all down a bit. God, that's a nasty angle. Cheeky. Right. So let's get shot off before we even move. this to try and save our precious cog points. Yes, I forgot we used all our servo skulls in that last round, didn't we? So we're not going to be able to claim any CP back this turn. That is a bit of a bugger. There we go, got one back. As far out the way there as we can. Not very far, but there's something. Cool, that's nice. Can you shoot from there? Alright. So, let's. otherwise that's going to go back. Uh, now we've got two CP but I'm not going to waste one. I'm going to use our reducer. So we're going to have some movement and attacks to do on the next round and we're going to need every CP we can get. Uh, in fact I'm going to heal that one now. Oh, in fact, yeah, I see them now. Get it done. There we go. Still got one CP, so that's not too bad. Definitely not 
this round. Servo skulls back, brilliant. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna heal now. Don't wanna move, I wanna heal him definitely. CP. Precious, precious CP. So we've got two. I'll stay in the blue for now. Get the shot off on him. Use one CP to get in there. I'm pretty sure it's now going to say kill all enemies. line of sight of these guys. I'll get a CP, so we're working with so we have two. We got a reducer, no, we don't. We can cleanse. Yeah, both of these are done, the bastard. Oh, well, I can only save one for now. In. Hold on. What um, health is that thing on? Don't know. Okay. Let's. It's even nine. Throw caution of a wind. Good result right there. I can't really move him, this is in the opportunity attack. I don't want him to get shafted with acid again. Well, I'm sure he probably will do. I can't take those scarabs out before our next turn. Kill on an extra CP. Gotta love it. Uh, best get rid of that one. It's only got two turns before it reanimates. Scarabs are gone. Let's tuck him back in here for some cover. He's only on 11 health now, which isn't terribly great. Uh, right, 
can use your gun to get rid of that one. I'm going to use my axe to attack the terminal. And hopefully he's... Yeah, hopefully he's out of range. Alright, see though we know the health of this one, he's got a physical shield on him. So I'm not going to do that much damage to him because I'm using a physical attack. So even though I don't know what's going on with this guy, I'm going to shoot him just on the hope that he doesn't have a physical shield. And that we did decent damage. This guy here is starting to really suffer now. Servo skill. I shoot that guy, get his stats. Okay, five is not too bad. But he really needs to heal. Seven HP isn't going to last long. In fact, how much has he got left to heal now? Yeah, so have we got Canticle? I do. Should just use that, maybe. He's healed up now. That's good. That's good. He's ready for uh, another couple of rounds. So, a scout get ourselves a CP. This guy's also a 10. Yeah, he's going to need to heal, really. But we're going to get him out there. Go balls to the wall now. See him get rid of the scarab so it doesn't heal anything else up. No? Okay, maybe not. Machine spirit, I don't really want to waste out on him. So for machine spirit, you can see we get to destroy one energy armor and physical armor with the machine spirit charge. And do a little bit more damage. We don't want to waste out on the scabs that only have two or three HP left on them. So we're going to attack this guy. We're not going to do that much damage, but we are going to strip his armor down. Which is going to make it easier for the other units to hit. So, playing, playing a bit of a long game on that one. One to two. Because right. our awakening bar is going up a little bit now. I want to knock it back down. Make it a bit more manageable. There we go. Let's see if we can get a scarab gone. One. Oh. Just like rolling ones with the dice. No one likes snake eyes. Right. I thought I stripped him. Oh, he must have had more than one armor on him. Right, we're going to do four to six damage with this. Let's make it worthwhile. There we go. That is a good result. Brilliant, scarabs are gone now. Awesome. So now we've just got the two warriors left. That's a lot more manageable now. Righty ho. we do here so let's use our reducer he's got 15 on him let's get the other canticle in it's going to do an extra six on top so it's going to do nine to eleven let's use this as well 
Let's see if we can get him in one hit with all the extra goodness. 10 to 12. We did 11. That's not bad. Taking a big chunk off him, that's for sure. We're going to stay there as he's got two opportunity attacks on him now. Where the, I didn't see that one. Ah, oh, cheeky. I thought this one here was the second one that came out. Oh, scarabs. Ah. Little acid zapping buggers. No opportunity off that one? Yeah. Oh no, look, look, Savage Rules and 2 and 1 damage, that's nothing. Let's get rid of that. <sighs> so I've only got one CP point left, no servo skull, no CP reducer. So we're just gonna have to get in next to this guy. I hope we get an opportunity attack on him. This guy's almost the same. At least I can fire the Phosphor Blaster. It's a Phosphor Blaster, I think something like that, isn't it? Yeah. Right. No movement, nothing we can do there. Let's get him as close as we can. Which isn't very close, but... Not repaired, hey! I can. I've got two CP, so I can use. Yeah, so let's do it. Uh, damage absorbed, but we've still got done by the acid. Oh, I can cleanse myself. There we go. Brilliant. Three to five. Fingers crossed for a five, everyone. Oh well, he's gonna um, he's gonna move away to attack us. Get the opportunity. He's only got one HP left, so we'll get him. So just this one here, we really need to worry about. And there's a a singular scarab left. Lone scarab. Let's shoot that guy. See what his stats are. Servo skull, give us some CP. Give him a good old mighty whack. He's only got eight left. Why is they heal him? But you can take another hit or two. We've only got one CP left, so let's just. Oh, we've got our servo skulls back, though. Could have done it. Zap him up, boy. Oh, it just puts us out. Oh, but we do have a reducer. Make it a free axe swim. Now, hopefully, he should have two opportunity attacks against him now. And Mr. Vanguard can take out this last scarab, hopefully. There we 
we go. Cool. He's got that one left on one HP. He should be moving soon and then dying. There we go. So we are literally just down to that last one. Where can I get? I can get a, a blaster shot on him, but we can get an axe swing in there. See how we were nearly on three there. Another turn or two, we would have been on three on our awakening. So it's definitely a good job we took out that um, terminal earlier when we could. Brilliant, no threat remaining. Mission complete. The cohort defends the location of the lost Skatari unit, enabling them to move the Oculus Topographus back out the tomb and towards Skatari lines. The troops and the valuable surveying device they escort are saved from perishing in the tomb of Agrilok. Brilliant. More like a happy ending. Yeah, I could have healed one and saved a bit of Blackstone, couldn't I? That's a bit of a lost opportunity as well. I think we only ended with one CP left, so I only would have been able to heal one of them. But here we go, we got our cog gauge increased again, which is going to be really handy. We got ourselves another new troop unit, Skatari Ranger. Up to 14%, so we're still pretty early days there. Not bad, not bad. The next energy attack will deal plus three energy damage. It's pretty cool. The next attack will break two energy armor. Oh, we've got a new sector, the Ubjow sector. Whereas the other tombs are sterile, this one is grossly fecund with the union of life and death. The first scout in Manipals to enter are overwhelmed by the appalling stench. They walk straight into a carnal house. Biological remains plaster every wall and floor. Some are creatures indigenous to Silver Tenebris, but others are unmistakably who, presumably from the former colonist of St. Eckhart's Hope. Their decay begins instantly as the sealed atmosphere of the tomb is breached. A metallic skittering heralds something even worse waiting in the tomb. With this pit of disease and death, even of the mind of a tech priest, is vulnerable before its horror. Lovely. Good holiday destination, I'd say. Well, that's pretty cool one, guys. We used our new tech priest. We got them upgraded. That mission was a lot easier with three tech priests rather than two. So we got 302 Blackstone. We can get another upgrade. Yeah, probably just one more upgrade. At the beginning of the next episode, we've still got all the missions available to us. So start to cook for gas here. So I hope you've enjoyed that one, guys. Leave a, a like or a comment or something if you did or you didn't. Let us know what we're doing right or wrong. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.